Okay, now we've already gone through the color wheel and played with our colors. And what I want to do next is just do a quick landscape. I've sketched out a design here and um, just a little street scene with a bridge and some trees. Um, I just want to make it mildly abstract, uh, not exact, not specific, because we want to have fun with it and uh, not worry so much about the perspective. I want to focus on the color and um, incorporating a lot of this really vibrant, juicy color on here. So let's just go ahead and get started. And I want it to lean towards the red. So I'm going to start with, with the sky. I don't always start with the same spot. You just kind of go with what feels good. And right now, I think I'll just put a little color in there to set the tone. Again, I'm going to just paint loose, get some color down on there. And even though I have a sketch, I'm not going to follow it exactly. I'm just kind of intuitive painting, they call it. Just kind of go with the flow. Some buildings in there now. And again, as I said, this uh, paint is very transparent. So I can still see through to the canvas to my sketch. So I'm going to paint it on a little bit thicker there. I'm going to... I created a, a bridge, kind of just circling around a busy little street. And the bridge, I like the direction because it kind of pulls you in the painting and leads you around. And then I've put some trees here to kind of bring you back in. You never want to send somebody completely out of your painting. You want to kind of have little things going on all around the painting, to, like eye candy, to kind of circle them around and around. And the colors and the design, all that works to keep them busy some of those trees in place. And even though it's going to be abstract, I'm thinking about my light source and I'm going to have my direction of light coming from this way. So the lightest side of these trees will be here. And I'll have the darkest over here, which also works well because that's a quiet area of the painting. I really don't want you to look here. I want you to look over here. So I'm going to quiet that down. I have a person in my sketch. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that in there or not. I'll just put the paint lightly over it. Just to get that color down on the canvas. I also want to check. I don't want that bridge exactly in the center. You always want to think about how your composition is. So I have a larger space here, smaller here. It's just above center. Again, as I said before, I don't have any black on the palette because I like to mix my darks, makes them much more vibrant. Again, very loose, just abstract shapes, lots of color on there. Let's bring that darkness down a little bit more. I've got the, um, this is sort of a viridian green. And remember, the sun is coming this way, so I want to darken that. So in order to darken that, I'm going to go opposite color on the color wheel, go to the red, add some of that. See how it darkens it and dulls it right down. For those buildings, I'm not sure how detailed I want to get or if I just want shapes for now. I really just want the feeling of the, the busyness, the shapes, and lots of action, houses, a crowded little village. Now I'm going to tone down my sky just a bit. Now these, I'm starting to get a lot of yellows and oranges, the colors that I wanted, but in order to quiet some of those down in some areas, I'm going to need some to add some blues to them, a little purples. Let's see if I put the roofs on. And I just had to take a minute and step back and look at the painting. It's always good to stand back and evaluate where you're at. And I have to point out, too, that it's kind of in the beginning, the block end stage. And uh, paintings inevitably, inevitably go through an ugly phase. Um, we call it the, the uglies when it's just kind of blocked in. You're not sure where you're going yet, but it's got potential. But 
you're still working through all the details and that's what every artist goes through and you just have to push through it. So that's what I'm going to do, just push through it and see what we come up with. Maybe change a few things. I have a lot of curves, so I want some lines going. Right now I'm just going to get the building, later we'll add the bricks to it. I'm putting this uh, cooler color on the ground to balance out some of the warmth. But I really don't want to lose that warmth because it is a sunny day, so it's uh, I'm going back and forth of how cool to make it. I'm going to add a little orange to that so it's still a quieter color but a little bit warmer. And I wanted it green. But I'd like it to, it's a little bright back here. It's in the distance, so distant things get duller, quieter, uh, blurrier. You don't see as fine a line, as much detail. I've added a, like, quite a bit of white here, so I'm starting to get a little bit more pastel -y colors than I wanted, which means I just have to add more color and less white. I think I'm going to get that sky a little more vibrant and the building's a little more vibrant. Let's try some straight yellow. Oop, drag a little blue in there. And just wipe it off. Try again. I'm going to take that window right out because I'm not sure I like that there. I can leave part of it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to get a little more um, color and a little more thick paint on here. I'm trying to add some vibrancy with colors on top. And I do need to put in a dark shadow where that bridge falls. Make it a little lean toward the red. Adding the light to the side of the trees. The sunlight hits them on the side and I just walk the top of that tree. It's easy enough to get it back in there. What I decided here was this bridge I had coming around, but I, I don't like it coming around quite as much because it feels very closed in. And I don't want you to, cl to close in that corner. This would be better to lead your eye in. I tip that a little bit because I don't want to, I want to make sure I don't have any straight lines. And I, my first instinct was go ahead and put that on straight, but you don't, you don't want to do that, especially in an abstracted version like this. So I'm just going to put some all different lines and shapes and pretty soon call it done. Uh, sometimes it's nice just to do studies and either a study from a memory or just, you know, push yourself to try a different format, a way of painting that you may not have painted before. And you'll always learn something.
Okay. And that's all I'm going to do on this for now. It needs some more work, but it was an experiment. Just wanted to abstract it and get a, a scene from memory and an experiment with it. And that's what I want you to do with your paints too. Just experiment and have fun. They don't all turn out great, but that's okay. So go have fun with it. <laughs>